Hey, Popeye, are the latest. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. In today's journey, we are going to be starting at White House and we are heading towards Savannah Lamar, both in the parish of Westmoreland. Sit back, relax, and drive with me. Now, this Friday, August 19th, 2022, we are going to be having some fun. This Friday, August 19th, 2022, is Quicksilver's birthday. Do you know who I am referring to when I say Quicksilver? You don't? Okay. This is Quicksilver. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa News Link. So, now you know who I'm talking about. This Friday is Quicksilver's birthday. And Quicksilver, he's going to be giving away five $500 phone credit for his birthday. Here is how you can enter to win. You're going to send us a voice note with the chorus of our theme song. The theme song, it was done by Quicksilver. Now, if you're not sure, this is what we are talking about. Listen this. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. Hey, cry with a mash up Jamaica. Criminals, them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica. So, you're going to sing the chorus and you're going to send it to us. WhatsApp us at 876-343-1034. That's 876-343-1034. We are going to choose the finalists and you, our viewers and subscribers, you're going to help us choose the winners. Stand by for that. Now, you're going to want to stick around. For the final story for today it is very very interesting we did some digging and we are going to be presenting some information to you that you will not hear anywhere else but first up last night monday august 15th 2022 in the eight o'clock region both the sandy bay police in the parish of anova and the betteltown police in the parish of westmoreland they carried out Two decent spot of work. The work that they carried out might have ended up saving a whole heap of lives. Now, in the first incident, this one took place, like we said, last night. Monday, August 15th, 2022, about 8 o'clock. It took place along the Seaford Town Main Road in the Betteltown Police Area in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that a team of police officers from the Betteltown Police Station they were on patrol in the Seaford Town area when, on approaching a bar, they saw a group of men. The men were standing at the bar. The police, they are reporting that one of the men who was among the group, he looked in their direction and he started acting timid. The police, they are saying that his actions aroused their suspicion. It was also noticed that there was a bulge in this man's waistband. The police they are saying that they stopped the vehicle and was walking towards this man when he took a silver object from his waistband and threw it to the ground. The object that the man threw to the ground, it was picked up by the police and it was found to be a black and silver Bursa single action 9mm pistol with the serial number intact, affixed with a magazine containing one round of 9mm cartridge. As a result, this man, he was taken into police custody. He was subsequently arrested and charged by the police for illegal possession of firearm and illegal possession of ammunition. This man, his name is Clement Bernard. Now, Clement, he celebrated his birthday yesterday, August 15th. So, he got a birthday gift that he bargained for. Now, Clement... He's a delivery man and he's living at Seaford Town in the parish of Westmoreland. He will be going to the courts shortly to face his judgment. Congratulations to the Betteltown police. 
job well done. In this next incident, listen to this one carefully. Two suspicious looking hoodlums. They were spotted in the vicinity of a supermarket at Hopewell in the parish of Anova. As a result, the Hopewell intelligencers, they contact the Sandy Bay police. The Sandy Bay police, they did not hesitate. Two police officers were dispatched to Hopewell. On arrival at Hopewell, the police, they saw two guys standing in front of the said supermarket. Remember that the police, they would have gotten description as also the mode of dress, etc. Or who to tell? <laughs> Maybe the intelligencer or one of the intelligencers was on the phone with the police, directing them to these two guys. Not true. So the police officers, without hesitation, they took down the two guys. And I know that some persons from other countries, they listen to this channel. Do you know what? Juke down means well, juke down it is the Jamaican way of saying accosted. Yeah, man, they mean the same thing. So, the police they juke down these two guys and proceeded to search them. And bingo, a Glock 9mm pistol with the serial number erased was taken from the waistband of one of the hoodlums. We can't give the correct names as yet because we don't want to cause any harm to the police investigations, but. This hoodlum, he is popularly known as Blacks. Blacks, he is 20 years old. And you want to hear how far Blacks come from? Blacks, he's originally from Morant Bay in the parish of St. Thomas. But Blacks, he's living in the Lincoln Road area in Kingston 12. The police officers, they are saying that they checked the gun and it was fitted with an extended magazine containing 26 rounds of 9mm cartridges. Blacks, he was further searched and another magazine containing 15 rounds of 9mm cartridges was found in one of his pants pocket. Wait, <laughs> been not done yet. The other hoodlum, he was searched. He gave his name as Daniel. I can't give you his last name as yet, but Daniel, he is 18 years old. And Daniel, He's from Belisle Road in Grangeville in the parish of Westmoreland. Daniel was searched and the police, they removed from Daniel's waistband. One chrome 9mm pistol with the serial number intact. It was affixed with a magazine containing 16 9mm cartridges. Daniel was further searched and an additional 5 9mm rounds were removed from one of his pants pockets. So... In total, right there, the police seized two 9mm pistols and 26 plus 15 plus 6 plus 5. That's 62 rounds of 9mm cartridges. <laughs> now, can you imagine what these two hoodlums were up to? Can you imagine how many innocent lives these Police officers working with the intelligencers saved. Intelligencers big up on a nice, clean self. And Sandy Bay Police, enough respect. Job well done. Now, on to the mayhem. This one took place yesterday morning. Monday, August 15th, 2022, about 2 o'clock. It took place at Bamboo Land in the Lilliput area. In the parish of St. James. We are learning that residents of the area. They reportedly heard loud explosions. Sounding like gunshots from about 2 o'clock in the early morning. But we are told that no one didn't bother to call the police. Because from time to time, hoodlums in the area squeeze off. Now at daybreak, about some minutes to 6 o'clock. Some residents, they were walking in the area when they stumbled on the body of a man. This man, he was readily identified by some of the residents. His name is Omar Smith. Omar, he was popularly known as Tristiban and he's 40 years old. Tristiban, he's said to be a mechanic and he lives in the same Bamboo Land Lilliput area. Tristiban, he was found in the middle of a dirt road and is back in a pool of his own 
red substance. He was found lying beside a black Suzuki Access 125 motorcycle. The police were called and we are told that when they inspected Tristiban, it was observed that he had gunshot wounds to his face and his head. From all indication, Tristiban, he died on the spot. We are told that when this crime scene was processed, a number of 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. Now, this next incident, it took place yesterday afternoon, Monday, August 15, 2022, about some minutes after 5 o'clock. It took place at Godfrey Street at Grange Hill in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that several loud explosions were heard, sounding like gunshots. They were heard in the Godfrey Street area of Grange Hill. We are told that a man, he's popularly known as Yellow, he was heard bawling out for help. Yellow, he was then seen running, but he collapsed and fell beside a shop in the area. It is said that the hoodlums, they went over Yellow and they pumped some bullets in his body. The hoodlums, they then made Goodyear escape on foot in the area. The police were called and when they went on the scene, they saw Yellow, whose correct name is Tamar Smith. Yeah man, T-A-M-A-R. Like we said, he's popularly known as Yellow. He is 33 years old and he's said to be a welder. He lived at Causeway in Grangel in the parish of Westmoreland. Yellow, he was seen lying on his back in a pool of red substance. He had received gunshot wounds to his upper body. Apparently, Yellow, he died on the spot. Now, we are told that when this crime scene was processed, a number of 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. The me so, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? <laughs> and for you men, <laughs> you men who are afraid to hit on the love button, it's all about brotherly love. All right? <laughs> Don't get it twisted. It is brotherly love. If you are over here watching our videos and you're not subscribed yet, no matter wait. Hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Now, in the final story for today, that man that you are seeing on your screen, his name is Byron Anthony Gray. He was popularly known as Rasta Byron. Rasta Byron, he celebrated his 53rd birthday on May 20. He lived at Love Lane in the West End area in Negril in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, Rasta Byron, he is someone who many persons consider a foundation man in Negril. Rasta Byron, he is not known to give any trouble at all. It is said that he is fun to be around. Rasta Byron, he has been involved in tourism from Wapikil Philip. Now, do you know what from Wapikil Philip means? You don't? Well, this is another way of saying from a very long time. So, in the midst of the mayhem, you are still learning something new, not true? So, Rasta Byron, like we said, he has been involved in tourism from Wapikil Philip. A long time Rasta Byron the boat. He said to be jovial, fun to be around, you name it. Now, on Tuesday, May 19th, 2020, one of Rasta Byron's son named Brian Gray, he was 22 years old at the time. He was shot and killed near to his gate at Love Lane in Western Road in Negril. The police, they subsequently arrested and charged 34-year-old Rene Springle, he's otherwise known as Cushé, and he's from Broughton District in the Little London area in the parish of Westmoreland. The police, they subsequently arrested and charged him for murder. Now, that case is still in the courts. On the night of Wednesday, July 20, 2022, about 9 o'clock, a Rastaman named Kenati Osborne, 
he was popularly known as Jadi, and he was 43 years old. Now, Jadi, he operated a shop in the craft market in Negril. Jadi was at the Lucky Slot Gaming Lounge and Thiels Plaza in Negril when he was shot and killed by a hoodlum whilst he was playing a game on a poker machine. Jadi, he was hit about eight times. He died on the spot. Now, immediately after Jadi was killed, words started going around that it was a case of mistaken identity. Words started going around that it was really Rasta Byron who was at the gaming lounge earlier but had left that the hoodlum came to kill. Remember, we told you that Jadi, he was also a Rasta man. Now, Rasta Byron, he knew that he was being targeted. In fact, he told many persons that he knew his time was near. Ah oh boy. Rasta Byron, he owned a 2013 Toyota Voxy. This Toyota Voxy, he used it to transport tourists. Rasta Byron, he didn't have to search hard to get work in the grill because he was very, very popular with tourists. So, last night, Monday, August 15th, 2022, about 9.30, Rasta Byron, he was driving his Toyota Voxy from West End towards the Negril Town Centre. He had in the Voxy two male tourists. They are from the United States of America, but they are staying at a resort at Norman Mali Boulevard up the beach road. Byron, he was carrying them back to their resort after he had taken them on an excursion. We are told that whilst driving along the West End Main Road, a motorcycle with two hoodlums aboard rode up beside the Voxy that Rasta Byron was driving. The pillion, he brandished a gun and opened gunfire at Byron. Byron continued driving, but he was chased by the two hoodlums and the bike and the pillion. He was still firing at him. Rasta Byron, he was hit. So by now, he was losing strength. He ended up losing control of the Voxy. As a result, the Voxy ran off the road and landed on the embankment and the sand along the seashore. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape on the said motorcycle towards the Negril town center. The police and the Negril fire department, they responded. Rasta Byron, he was found in the vehicle with gunshot wounds to his head and his upper body. Apparently, he died on the spot. One of the tourists, he received a broken nose, whilst the other one, his left hand was broken. This was due to the accident. Luckily, none of them were shot. They were taken to a nearby hospital where they were treated and admitted. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, nine 9 mm spent shells were recovered from the scene and we are sure that more than nine shots were fired. The mayhem continues. Blessed love everybody. Tell a friend for tell a friend for tell a friend about Popeye Newslink and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe and share. Quick silver sin if we just unite. What a country this will be if we just unite. Jamaica live in unity if we just unite. What a country this will be if we just unite. Jamaica live in unity. Hey, cry with a mash up Jamaica. Criminals them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica me sweet Jamaica. Cry with a mash up Jamaica. Criminals them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica me sweet Jamaica. I could have sun shine a ray. Jamaica, no problem, no pain. Good boy them no go can't tame. But me want me country back. Give me me country back. To the street and the lane. Everybody them start complain. Bloodshed, what a shame, what a shame. But me want me country back. Give me me country back. Cry me to mash up Jamaica. Criminals them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica. Cry me to mash up Jamaica. Criminals them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica, me 
Criminals, they're my mashup, Jamaica. 